Nyeke blofu me yite ni Mena me baho walo cha Shino kumba cha Nyeheri awo cha Omanye aba Kake si melekwe la ji Nye mavona deke wo Eyata yesu Ebe sisir mum taburu mama iya ya zawaya amese iya ya zawaya awe kita taburu fango wechiro sisir mum taburu mum sisir mum taburu yes we do jare jo ya udo amare kama tengachu. Isu e do jade, je ya o do amara kama tawachi yo. O do do, and that's it for the midday news here on Joy 99.7 FM. This morning is when you log on to myjoyonline.com. I am MFA Pau. Thanks so much for your company. Drive safe, arrive alive. Chance not for you. Go be upgrade it. Just on a dial. Star 120 star 1 hash. Now back on MT and Rizzo. We love you. Go go. Hey, the free and you're copying. Every busum in a day. Would you have to use your MTM number? No. Do more. Now wait to be a winnie. One of the 20,000 iPro Amber 5 S phones. Cafe door. But come up. Test it. Now for your mom on the car. I've been now. Can you say you'll be to you. Return. So we'll start with iPro Amber 5 S phone. Hey. MT and Rizzo. We love you. Provo. New year. New phone. New return. We are good together. We're there for you everywhere you go. It's a new day. Are you ready to make a change? A new part and to journey away to explore the things you never imagined. nominees for three music awards 2020 music man of the year kelvin boy Living now with different while I beg and yeah with chicken. I'm putting my people on my religion. I level up shit on all my competition. I'm missing. Maybe that link would be missing if I ever shoot my shot to position. For me, yeah. Stone boy. of the year dow star four four seven star three hush three music awards 2020 is presented by three media networks joy fm kids fm joy prime tv the fantasy dome and ene ghana with support from love fm join new cv adobe fm adobe tv asampa fm ashura fm and myjoyonline.com gold coast restaurant volta hotel akosombo and the radio advertising people trap three music awards 2020 
day came. They proved their metal. Now it's time to rock the world. Five of the Prime Studio talent will qualify to the next stage of Prime Studio competition. They have four weeks to show their musical skills and vocal power. In order to make it to the final round, who qualifies is the Deadly Vibes, Young Tuga, Okesie, Naja, Good Boy Legend, Nicole, Amin Ola, Arute, Kwame Stika, and Topmost. Remember that you have what it takes to vote for your favorite contestants to the top. Vote for your favorite contestant by texting PS followed by the name of your favorite contestant to the short code 1903 to increase your chances of making it to the final round. Watch Prime Studio live Saturdays at 8 p.m. only on Joy Prime. Joy Prime Real Entertainment. to many around the globe transforming lives into legacies live in word with pastor mensa otobil it's time for the nation's biggest annual health and fitness event Saturday, 28th March, will be a blast as we hit the road with Life Walk 2020. Join Pastor Mesa Otterville and the International Central Gospel Church as we walk for life. Bring the entire family along as we exercise together and support a worthy cause. Life Walk 2020 starts and finishes at the Independent Square. Starting time, 5.30 a.m. prompt. Prepare to walk for 3 kilometers, 6 kilometers, 9 kilometers, or the full 12 kilometers. Life Walk 2020 is in support of the Mental Health Authority. Purchase your officially recognized walking tag at 10 Ghana cities from the nearest ICGC assembly. Buy as many as you can, even if you're not working for any reason. Wear your tag with pride as you support the delivery of mental health care in Ghana. Live Walk 2020, supporting mental health in Ghana. And now, today's word. I'm continuing my message that I have titled, Talent, Work, and Profit. Talent, Work, and Profit. And we are looking at the parable of Jesus, recorded in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 24, beginning from verse 14 to verse 29. And in this parable, Jesus Christ teaches about talent, work, and profit. Jesus Christ talks about a man who gives talent to his servants. He does not tell them what to do with the talents. He just gives the talents to them. One, he gives five. To another, he gives two. To the other, he gives one talent. It's important to note that a talent in the time of Jesus is equivalent in our time to about 2,000 American dollars. So it was quite an amount of money. The one who had five would have equivalent of about 10,000 U.S. dollars. The one who had two would have equivalent of about 4,000 U.S. dollars. The one who had one talent would have an equivalent of 2,000 U.S. dollars. So all these people had a tidy amount of money that could be used to generate some income. But the master did not tell them what to do with the talents they have received. He trusted that they will be able to wisely use the talents that have been given to them. There are two kinds of attitudes we find out about the talent. The attitude of those who use their talents profitably and the attitude of those who did not use their talents profitably. Those who use their talent profitably did four things. And you can find that 
in verse number 18. Verse number 18 of Matthew chapter 25, it says, And he who had received, no, verse 16, and then we'll look at 18. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. That's the first attitude. These people who received the talent, the first attitude went and did something good with the talent they've received. And four things you would notice there, which I want you to run through. One is that they received the talent. Everybody say, receive the talent. Two, they went. Everybody say, they went. Three, they traded. Everybody say, they traded. And four, they gained. Everybody say, they gained. So they received, they went, they traded, and they gained. They didn't sit down wasting the talent. They went, they went with the talent, they invested the talent, they exchanged the talent, and the Bible says they became profitable. As a matter of fact, they had a 100% increase on the investment that the master had made in their lives. The second group, which represented the one who received one talent, his attitude is found in verse 18. And he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. He also did four things. He received, he went, he dug in the ground, and he hid what he had. Two different attitudes. Both started by receiving. They went as a second step. Both went. But from number four, three and four, the attitudes changed. One went and traded with what he had. The other went to hide what he had. And one made a profit. The other did not make a profit. It's important to note that when God makes an investment, he expects a return. Just as you, when you make an investment, you must have a profit. You must have a return. And whatever we receive in the natural state, we must have the power to multiply its value. Whatever you receive, whether it's a talent, a gift, an ability, whatever it is, a skill that you have received, you must improve its quality. And you must make sure that its value is more than how you received it. But today we will look at not only the attitude of the servants, but we'll also look at the attitude of the master towards his servants. Remember the servants, two different groups. One invested and gained, the other hid it and never gained. So let's look at the master's attitude to his servants. From verse 19, after a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. Remember, my friends, that there is going to be a day of reckoning, a day of accountability, a day of making up the records for what you have used your life for. For us Christians, we call it the day of judgment. But before that day of judgment, even in your lifetime, you are constantly having your day of judgment. A day in which you have to show forth whether you rightly invested what you had or not. We have a day of judgment every day. Every day people are being judged. When you see somebody by the roadside drunk and singing and stumbling and falling into a gutter, he's had his day of judgment. He's having it here on earth and then after he died, he's going to face a more serious judgment. But every act that we perform will be judged. And you will be judged, I will be judged. So the master came for a day of judgment. Remember, God will always demand from you what he has given to you. Verse 20. So he who had received the five talents came and brought five other talents saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look. I have gained five more talents beside them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler 
over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. God recommends those who use their talents profitably. God recommends them. God says to them, well done. You've done well. Good success. Good, good work. Good show. I'm sure if God was using our present term expressions, he would give them a high five. And say, high five, buddy. You've done well. Good show. Why? Because you use your talents profitably. God will recommend you and commend you when you use your talents profitably. That's God's attitude. He rewards enterprise. He rewards profit. He rewards good work. He rewards work that produces profit. God is not against people who work hard and become successful. Contrary to the view some of you may hold. Because some people think that God is against the wealthy. There is a wealth that God is against. The wealthy who gain their wealth by injustice, by unfair means, and by taking advantage of their position of power to oppress others. That kind of wealth, God is against it and God will resist it. But if you create your wealth by honestly using your gifts and talents to accumulate wealth, God is not against you. And God will not punish you because you ride a good car as a result of your hard work. That's why you cannot be envious of that person who has worked hard and is living well. Because you see, people are where they are because that's where they wanted to be. Oh yeah. Everyone is where he is because that's what you've chosen to be. Human beings are not victims of circumstances. Human beings are products of choices. You don't become who you are because circumstances made you so. You become who you are because of choices that have been made. Either choices you made yourself or choices that were made on your behalf. And for your information, by the age of 12, you should be able to make your own choices. Your parents may not have made good choices for you, but you can make good choices for yourself. Remember Jesus Christ. His parents made a choice one day to go to Jerusalem. And they took him along to Jerusalem. Jesus was 12 years old. And it, they decided, made a choice to go back. And Jesus chose not to go back. He went to the temple and started getting busy about his mission. Talking to people about God. His parents were worried. They went to look out for him and said, Why did you keep us worried? The answer of Jesus was very important and all of us should note that answer. Didn't you know that I must be above, about my father's business? Twelve years old. And yet he had a sense of mission. You don't wait to have a sense of mission when you are 40. You develop it when you are young. And when you are young, you have to make choices that help you to achieve your mission in life. So you are where you are because of your choices you've made. Some of you made choices not to go to school. Because the teacher whipped you. I remember when I was in class 5, elementary, primary school. I went to a public school. And they whipped in those days. I don't know if they do that now, but they whipped. And my class 5 teacher was a muscular man. He used to wear black shorts and wear white shirt. And when there was whipping to be done, all the teachers would come and hire him. The guy was on high for whipping. I mean, he could whip from class 1 to class 6 and even go to the middle school to whip. He was an expert to at whipping. And he was my teacher, and this guy could whip. And he whipped us so much that I decided not to go to school. And so my parents would give me money to go to school, and I'll go and play chingam photo and climb mango trees. And I did that for some time until one day some big boys arrested me and took me back. And thank God they took me back. But what I realized was. I was not the only one being whipped. Others stayed in the class, but 
but I decided not to go to school. It was my choice. And if I had not changed, I might have ended up totally different from what I am today. Choices. You can't control circumstances from happening to you, but you can control your own response to the circumstances. You can't stop people from disliking you or hating you, but you can stop yourself from running away because people don't